So when you're doing a plate loaded shoulder press, there's a couple of things you want to remember. Um, primarily where our shoulders align, right? You're not going to get as much out of this movement as if you're, if you're hitting a 90 degree angle, you know what I mean? Um, your shoulders do move that way. However, just like your chest, they're convergent muscles. They actually develop a little bit better. They kind of sit at more of a 45 degree angle. And so more of like this neutral positioning is kind of where we want to be with the elbows slightly turned out and not necessarily at a 90. You know what I mean? So what we want to do is we want to lay back just like so. Make sure that the handles sit on the fattest part of your hand. And then we're just going to drive through. Three, four, lock out. Don't completely lock out. Keep them a little bit bent. Keep that tension going. Now, this will really emphasize the anterior delts. If you want a little bit more of a well-rounded movement, you can kind of actually finesse this to where it is a little bit more of like a overhead press movement. Now, that isn't necessarily for beginners. And so as a bonus, I'll kind of throw that in there. If you guys decide that that's the way you want to execute the movement, so be it. But what you can do is you can actually turn around on this a little bit and hit it backwards to where like your hands are kind of on the, the handles here. And then you'll be able to kind of drive through a little bit more complete. It's important that whenever you're driving, you keep your core engaged. Just so that you don't like hyperextend your spine. You can make sure you're having or using the most amount of leverage possible. So that's how you do a plate loaded shoulder press.